Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Nice to see everyone joining this morning. Time to get moving. <laughs> um, welcome to everyone um, to our Mind the Moment uh, Thursday morning gathering brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and Tufts Health Plan. This is a place, as you know, where we invite experienced mindfulness instructors to talk with us about what mindfulness means to them and to discuss as a community how we can incorporate these practices into our daily lives. I'm Suzanne Rowe Palacino, and I am very, very happy to be here with Tara Healy, founder and director of Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare's Mindfulness Program. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, everyone. Great to see you here this morning. Nice to have everyone here, yes. Yeah. It's, it's sunny where I am. I hope it has the potential to be sunny wherever you are. So we're, we're really happy to have everyone here this morning. Yeah. Today, Tara will start off, us off with a question to get yes, us. I will. I know, you know, it, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Did you yeah, want to say? Lead us in a guided practice. And after that, we'll have time for questions and um, some, any kind of comments folks have. So if you can go to the bottom of your screen, open up the chat. And uh, you can click on the drop down menu uh, that says hosts and panelists. And you can click that and change it to everyone um, just so you uh, can hear all, see all the comments. Someone has mentioned that they can't yeah, I see, hear. I see I'm that too. Um, Singham, if I'm wondering if by any chance your volume is down on your computer, I haven't heard from anyone else, but let, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Anybody else that's on the call that's having trouble hearing? Yeah, yeah I'm checking my volume. Um, so if, if anyone's there that can hear us, can you let us know just by, oh, good, okay. So oh, good. hopefully, oh, good, okay, great. All right. Well, happy to have oh, you all here this morning and okay. um, that everyone can hear us. That's a, an important part of a webinar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so a quick announcement for um, uh, folks who haven't heard or haven't joined us in the last couple of weeks. Um, we received a good amount of feedback on these sessions that folks were interested in also having a session in a Zoom meeting format that would be a format where uh, we can see one another, uh, cameras would be optional, and we could communicate directly. So we listened, and we're now offering one on Wednesday mornings, and that will be starting on the 5th of January, 8.30 to 9, exact same uh, time frame, but it will be, as I mentioned, in a Zoom meeting format, so um, all the uh, opportunity for us to see one another if that's what folks are interested in doing, turning their cameras on, and we'd love if that's something you'd like to do. Um, I'm going to share the link to that. Again, it doesn't start until the new year, but here is the link. There is a password um, for this. So please uh, make a note of the password. And we'll also be sharing some um, other ways that you can connect through um, you know, our Facebook page and uh, some other, other ways. So. Um, Tuesday and Thursday morning sessions will stay exactly the same. This is just an additional session, uh, so there will be more opportunity to interact in, in some different ways. So we hope you'll join us. Yeah, we'll talk about it again at the end, just if anybody's joining late. And uh, But we're really excited that we'll have three days from, you know, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, 8.30 to 9, with Wednesday being uh, like a distinguishing um distinguished by the fact that we'll be able to see each other. So it's camera optional, um, but yeah, it'll be really nice. All right. All right, so, so where do you yes. want to start us with? Uh, yeah, so I, you know, as always um, start with a question and, you know, this feels like a really powerful time of year in a lot of ways. I mean, we're sort of, we're closing out one year. We've just had winter solstice. The days are gonna start to get longer and stay brighter longer. Um, we're entering a new year. Um, and so I just, my question for everyone is there's something this past year um, that in, has inspired you to bring into the new year. So that could be like an attitude or a mindset. It could be a habit, but something over this past year that um, you feel 
is, is supportive and that you want to carry into the next year and cultivate and nourish and grow that particular. So again, it could be a quality of mind. It could be a habit or a hobby, you know, really anything. Um, so as everyone is thinking, I'm going to start with Suzanne and then I'll share some of my thoughts about that. And then we'll go ahead and get into uh, our guided practice. So Suzanne. Yeah, so um, I would add that I'm, um, resilience has been an area that I've been working on all year uh, within my practice, as well as just in a day-to-day -day life. And I, I feel like I'm uh, getting better with, with that, um, that quality. Um, and I have practiced it, I have practiced it in my meditation practice where, you know, even from the standpoint of something basic, like having an itch, uh, you know, mm -hmm. if I feel like I have an itch and I'm like, when, but I let it sit, I'd let it be. And it's something that's annoying and uncomfortable, but, um, you know, we, we've gone through some uncomfortable times and I'm trying to support that with my practice. Yeah. So a little bit of resilience is what I'm grateful I, for. Yeah. I love the itch example because it's, um, it's just practice for bigger things that are uncomfortable and challenging and whether or not you scratch it, it's going to go away. So like, that's the beauty of actually hanging out with those things with um, some, uh, it's just discomfort, you know, and getting, getting some facility with that. Um, yeah. So the one thing, you know, I, I, as I, I, kind of go about my life and out into the world is that, you know, I really look at people and think about what their lives might be like, that I don't know what they have been through personally. And, you know, the recognition of our shared humanity and that we all have losses. Uh, we all have um, joys and sorrows. And there is you know, and I wouldn't say it's something new that I have done, but it's something that feels really important, especially because there's been so much loss this past year, is the recognition of not knowing what, what people have been through in their lives and the kind of softening and the shared feeling of being in this, um, you know, in this world with a lot of uncertainty um, together, that we are actually together. And um, yeah. so I, I hope that I don't ever stop looking at others that way. <laughs> um, so let's see great, what we have. It's a great reminder, Tara. I think that's, that's um, wonderful. So um, folks have mentioned the need for quiet time. That's, a, that's really interesting. Um, Self-love yeah. with intention, yeah. Perhaps yeah. being curious and being flexible and want to continue in 2022. Yeah, love and new spiritual walk. Yeah. Becoming more social and less isolated. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. You know, all great aspirations, right? To um, this, you know, desire to live in a certain way and then carry that in. Um, and, and I think, you know, that um, all of these things, these qualities of mind and qualities of heart, they do require practice, right? It's like, it's like any, it's like a relationship that um, in order for it to continue to thrive, it needs some effort. Um, and that is, includes our relationship with ourselves. Um, and so uh, given that, let's let's go ahead and start our practice. And again, you know, you can you can sit or you can stand. Actually, I think today I'm gonna stand. Um, so I hope everybody can see me okay. All right. So Take a minute to do two deep breaths, you know, on your own, in your own, in your own way. So take two deep breaths, what inhale through the nose, double the length of the exhalation through the mouth, just as a way to kind of settle in.
And notice the points of contact with the either the soles of the feet or the back of the body, with the floor or with a chair or a cushion. Just aware of those points of touch and what that feels like. And with whole body awareness, noticing from your activity so far this morning, any pulsing or vibration or you know, any areas where you might be holding, um, see if you can soften those areas just to the degree that you're able, but otherwise aware of uh, different expressions of sensation in your body and just receiving. And just for a moment, receiving sound in the room or outside of the room. And allowing sound to remain as it will, it's you know, no problem. Just bringing awareness back in, allowing sound to remain in the background, and back into whole body awareness. And let's move to an anchor that we return to each time the mind wanders. And again, remember, we're not trying to stop wandering. We're just simply seeing that when, when a thought has slipped in and we're engaged in it, the moment we see it is such a perfect moment. We notice it, we can label thinking, we can be more specific, it could be planning or worry. Release, soften the body and return to whatever you're using to ground your attention. So that could be breath sensation, um, wherever in the body you feel it, as you breathe in and breathe out, where that, um, where you're able to connect with it the strongest. Um, it could also be something else like a sound in the room or outside of the room that's consistent. Um, it could be a point of contact, perhaps the back of the body, it could be palms of hands on the thighs. Um, Whatever you're using as your anchor, uh, sometimes there can be a tightness around it. See if you can soften that if that's happening. So track the breath or track sound or track another body sensation. And each time the mind wanders, simply release, soften and return. Noticing where the mind is, soft mental note thinking, soften the body, and return to your anchor.
Again, noticing where the mind is, softening the body and returning to your anchor. And as we bring this meditation to a close, may we be peaceful and at ease. May our heart be soft and open. May we be safe and protected and our bodies healthy and strong. And may we wish all the same for those known and unto, unknown to us. And may the merit of our practice be for the benefit of all beings everywhere. And I'll come back three two and one and as you feel ready if your eyes were closed when you're ready open the eyes i always feel like it's helpful to just kind of reorient by looking around a little bit maybe taking a moment to stretch um thank you tara yeah yeah really um well needed practice yeah just short right it's like i you know i think sometimes many short moments throughout the day can be more valuable than than one big long you know 30 or 45 minutes sit and i know dr amishi jaz um some of her re research is showing 12 minutes um a day yeah, five days a week. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's valuable to take short, you know, short moments. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess if you think about <clears throat> prior to the time that one even considered meditating, if you can remember back then. Yeah. Think of when was there a time when we just sat and really, yeah. You know, not that we do nothing when we meditate, that's not right, right. right. But yeah. that we just had the intention to just sit with. Yeah, to just be, whatever. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, you know, and I think we're a driven society, right? So it feels, um, it, I think even, even meditation can sometimes feel self-indulgent or, you know, and um, it's such a wrong view or an inaccurate view because 
you're cultivating a wise heart <laughs> that then gets employed in the service of your life and everyone benefits from the way you drive to the way you engage to, you know, so um, that the self-understanding that's cultivated in practice helps us work on, you know, and acknowledge those aspects of ourselves that that we might find more challenging, that others might find more challenging. And um, it's really, so the practice is always for the benefit of all beings. You know, it's, it's never, it's never just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. There's so much in the in the um, press and just in, in reading these days that says, you know, the the different things that become part of the the health and well-being of of individuals and how eating well came into importance and then exercising. Right. And, you know, it's you know the the science is showing meditation. So yeah. Um, and when you say self indul self indulgent, um, maybe that's something we need to consider. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, and I think the the term has a selfish connotation, right? Yeah. But but of course, like yeah, it's it's not. Um, yeah, and if anybody wants to share what this practice was like for them, I know somebody tried standing and really liked it. I that's awesome because. I want to emphasize that it really doesn't matter what posture you're in. What matters is the quality of awareness you're able to bring. Um, and there are, you know, days where the quality of our awareness is all over the place. And it's really the capacity to see that and to allow and to be with, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. So it's because I think sometimes too meditations can be thought of as I had a good one or I had a bad one. But but I would encourage people to actually leave that terminology at the door and um, because it all is just what it is. I mean, there are there are days when I practice where I feel anxious and unsettled. And then I'm I, I you know, my practice is can I receive the anxiousness and the unsettledness within my body, mind, within my heart? Can I make space for that? Can I feel the physical manifestation of that? That's, that's the practice, you know, as opposed to the desire to get up and distract myself so I don't have to feel it. And then there are days where it feels easy and it's like the stars are aligned in the practice today. It feels good, um, but it all is just what it is. And so you bring that curiosity to the ease you are feeling in that time and without the expectation that the next one will do the same um, because it's it, it, you know, pretty much guaranteed it won't. And so you know, you're with the uncertainty of what it's gonna be like to be with your mind and body on a particular day. Um, and uh, you know, I, so I have um, my parents are um, both of them elderly and, and uh, really kind of at the end of their, they're at the end of their lives. And I was with both of them yesterday and I always have a lot of residual angst. Um, and so for me today, you know, it was, it, it, it wasn't pleasant, definitely not pleasant. Um, but just to feel the expression in my body of grief, you know, and uh, of sadness. But I also want to also to add, we don't have to force ourselves that, you know, you can figure out what you're able to tolerate. And, um, you know, sometimes just movement is going to be better if grief and anxiety is heavy, you're going to want to do more movement and keep, keep with the body, keep, you know, so um, there's, you're not, you're not forcing anything. If that if that helps, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, doing what your mind and body need, and not feeling like it's supposed to be a particular way. Yes, yeah, yeah. The um, we had a comment that said um, that someone tried laying down with an object. I love this with an object. Yeah, yeah. In the stomach as an anchor, and it was easier. That's great. To an anchor. So that's you know 
talk about that sensation of the the stomach feeling that object on yeah you know, I love that idea I love that too thank you for that suggestion mm -hmm. and you're less likely to fall asleep so because you've you've got something you've got that weight um whereas doing laying down practice sleepiness is really easily sets in but that's a great that's great to add, add some weight to your belly. So you feel that. As long as it's not a real anchor. So that's, that's, <laughs> <good. laughs> um, I, you know, when you were mentioning earlier, uh, I know we've just got another minute, but yeah. um, the curiosity, I just love that term because it, it translates so easily into our when you were talking about being curious about what's happening during your meditation, it's the same, like you were mentioning earlier, that you want to bring in this curiosity about other people's lives and curiosity about, you know, how is it, what is it like to be a person of color, you know, in this world? What is it like to be, you know, so I, I just, I like the opportunity yeah. to, that curiosity can make us a better person in so many different ways. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. And I wanted to share before um, we wrap up, if folks had joined a little bit late, that we are adding a Wednesday morning mindfulness session, January 5th, 2022. I'm sending this um, in the chat. Um, this will be a Zoom meeting format versus this particular type of format. So Tuesdays and Thursdays will stay, stay exactly the same. The Wednesday format will be a Zoom meeting format where you have the windows where um, you can see the folks in the community if they opt to put their camera on, but we can also discuss uh, yeah. live and have questions and answers. I will be leading this session and um, sharing a small, um, uh, something about a small uh, a topic in the beginning, and then we will meditate. Same, um, same kind of opportunity, but at the end, we'll have an opportunity to just discuss um, directly. So yeah, so we're, we're excited. And, and again, I just want to add like um, Wednesday is going to be a Zoom meeting format. This is a Zoom webinar format, just so you see the difference. So it's Tuesday, Thursday is Zoom webinar. Wednesday is Zoom meeting. It's just more interactive with camera optional. Yeah. Great. Well, I, um, I love the comment that Colleen shared that any time as she spends meditating is healing. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And it's weighing you down. So yeah, it's all good. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Um, well, lovely to be with you as always. And we look forward to seeing you. We will be here next week. So Greg yeah. uh, Tapakian will be with us on Tuesday. So we'll oh, great. have him. Good. And, and Tara on Thursday. So we uh, hope you enjoy if you're celebrating this week, we hope you enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Um, if yeah. you're, um, you know, whatever you're doing this week, we hope you are able to find this time to, to, to sit and practice. And um, we look forward to seeing you next week. All Thanks. right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay, bye.